Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today we're going to be talking about what I'm looking forward to reading in May. So keeping it super casual today. I want to say this is my TBR for May but that would be completely false because this list is really long. I usually only read three or four books a month. So this is more like, hey, this is what's caught my attention this month or this is the kind of mood I'm in for reading. I don't know. It's just a list of books that I'm like, hey, that might be interesting for this month. I also want to let you guys know I very rarely buy books. I heavily rely on my public library. So a lot of times some of the books I want to read they don't always have or they're, you know, backed up really long. There's a long wait so I can't get them. So a lot of my list also depends on what's available to me at my public library. I made this list like a week ago and as I sat down today to look at it, I could fully see the path that my brain took as I was compiling this list and let me just say it's very chaotic. But let's just go with it, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to read you any of the synopsises or anything like that. I'm just going to tell you the book and why I added it to my list and yeah. Like I said, super casual today. We're not really getting into anything, just some books I'm hoping to read in May. Okay, so I have a book club. I run a book club uh, with some of my close friends and we do it all online. And I've had this book club now for five years. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize it had been that long. That's crazy. Anyway, um, there's a few of us that actually live in the same town uh, randomly. <laughs> a lot of these people are like friends from high school or friends I've made the last couple years. One, Actually, one of the ladies in my book club, she is married to someone I used to know in high school and I've actually never met her. She only joined book club because she loves to read just like us and yeah, kind of crazy little world in it. Anyway, um, there's three of us that actually live in the same town and so we kind of have this like side book club? Totally not a thing. Um, basically we just all decide to read one book like every couple of months and then we get together and have mimosas and talk about it. That was an extremely long description, I'm sorry. Okay, so the book that my friends and I are looking at is Quantum Entanglement. I just realized I didn't write down any of the authors on my little piece of paper, but everything is going to be listed down below, and of course I have the picture here, so sorry. Um, basically, we came across this book on TikTok. We came across the author on TikTok, and we both kind of, we all three kind of joked around about how it would be fun to read one of their books, because they're supposed to be like smutty sci-fi sci-fi fantasy smutty sci-fi fantasy so yeah that's what I'm reading that this month so I can get together with my gal pals and chit chat about smutty fantasy books there's nothing else to say <laughs> the next one on my list is Dumplin', which I feel like everyone but me has read this book. It's also been turned into a film. So if I do end up reading it, I will do a book to film adaptation video. Um, I've tried getting this from my library a bunch of times and it's always really backed up. So I'm just gonna see. Hopefully I can get it because I've been looking forward to reading it. Next is Zodiac Academy. A couple of my friends have highly, highly, highly recommended this book to me. The reason I haven't read it yet is because some of the reviews say that it's a bully romance and I'm really not into that kind of stuff. It's also YA, I think, and I really need a break from YA. I really need a break from it, so I don't know. We'll see. That's very tentative on the list. Like, I only added it because my friend's been badgering me to read it and I'm like maybe I just need to see what all the fuss is about. Next on my list is Mallory which this is the sequel to Bird Box which I read Bird Box. Oh it's been a minute now but oh my gosh I really wish I would have 
read the book before I watched the film because the book is, wow. I'm putting that on the list to talk about because Bird Box the book just blew my mind. Bird Box the movie was just kind of like, what is this? Are we serious? You know, it got a lot of hype and it was a good film, but I think it was really overhyped and that's why it fell short for me because everyone was talking about it so quickly. But yeah, Bird Box the book, wow. So Mallory's been on my list to read and I've just been putting off doing it. I did try to get into it about a year ago and it was so backed up at the library that I just kind of said, I'll check back in with it later. So we'll see, maybe it's super available, maybe I'll get into it. Uh, the next one is The Rise of the Magics. Rise of the Magics? Okay. By Nora Roberts. And this is the third book in the Year One series. And this will complete that series. I read the first book for one of my book club books. And it was really great. It's like um, post-apocalyptic magic. So it was like witches and stuff and then you have like the dark forces versus the light forces and then you have a young chosen one but she's a woman girl woman young adult a young adult woman is the chosen one and the first book was really great i was really into it they were just setting up the whole backstory and it was really great the second book was kind of Meh. I mean, it was fine. It served its purpose. But I've been putting off reading the third one because of who I am as a person and I have a distracted brain, as we'll get into as I explain to you why my list looks like the way it is. Um, I have trouble finishing series books. So, it's on my list. It's been on my list. Maybe I'll actually get to it this month. The next one is Endangered Species, and this one's by... Nevada Bar, which in a couple videos ago, I talked about Nevada Bar and how amazing she was. And I was like, oh, hang on, I haven't read a Nevada Bar book in a hot minute. Maybe I should get back into it and pick up one of her books again. And then I looked up this book, it doesn't really sound that great. But it's next on the Anna Pigeon series, so we'll see. Next on my list is Cinderella is Dead, and there's a very good chance I'll actually read this one because I got it as a free Kindle download like a year ago as a gift from Amazon. So I actually have it sitting on my Kindle just waiting for me to read. So there's a really good chance that I'll actually read it um, so because I don't have to wait on the library or anything. I already have it in my possession. I just have to literally charge my Kindle and we'll be good to go. So I do expect this one to actually get read. Next is Wild and Wicked Things. No idea what this book is about. <laughs> it was on my Pinterest feed and I said, oh, that looks like a super cool witchy cover. I'm going to add it to my to be read. So there it is. I have no idea what it's about except that it's probably witchy and sounds fun. Looks fun because I didn't read anything about it. Yeah, so there it is. I don't know. The next one is 1000 Tears. Uh, again, this was a Pinterest book and I literally said ooh mermaids so yeah I didn't look into it any more than that mermaids and then the last book is gonna be my book club book which uh, we do like a voting system so we haven't finished voting yet so I don't know what it is but there is always a spot in my list of books that I read every month for my book club book so yeah that's what I'm looking at and let me just kind of go through this list again real quick and just as I'm looking at it now I can see exactly what happened as I was making this list and while I was sitting there making it I was just like what do I think I want to read this month what do you think I'm going to be into I didn't really know what I was in the mood for for May I just knew I knew I was going to read Quantum Entanglement and then I just kind of started going through books I wanted to read so Dumplin' and Zodiac Academy, I've been wanting to read. They've been on my list. My friend's been bugging me about Zodiac Academy, so immediately I was like, I should try and get these books. 
But then in the back of my head, I was like, oh, I already have all these other series that are open that I haven't finished yet because of who I am as a person. And I haven't finished these series. So I'm like, let me just go through my list of series and see what I can close out. Mallory can close out that book. Rise of the Magic can close out that series. And then again, I was like, Nevada Bar, I haven't read her in a while. We'll just add that to that list. So I completely got sidetracked trying to close down these series so that I can make room for more series. Kind of like trying to justify it in my brain because it, it needed justifying. After I added Nevada Bar, I was like, oh, I need to diversify my bookshelf. Cinderella is dead. Boom. I already have it in my queue. I just need to read it. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure I opened up Pinterest and I saw Wild and Wicked Things and I said, that looks like a cool cover. And then I probably scrolled down and saw a mermaid and thought that needs to go on there. That's vital. That's necessary. Yeah, that's my disorganized brain on full view of everyone that ever watches YouTube videos. If you've read any of these books, let me know if you like them. If there's any books that you think I would like to read or books you want me to talk about on my channel, drop a comment down below. Um, next week, I'm going to be talking about the books that I read in April. And I'm not going to tell you what I end up picking for May because it's going to be a surprise. Expect one of these near the end of the month of just like a running random list of books that I'm hoping to read for the next month to showcase my disorganized brain. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a good rest of the week. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!